Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to draw a realistic eye. I use these methods myself and I really like them. So step one, what you want to do is just draw a straight line. Step two is just draw a lemon shape. Quite simple. Step three, just draw a circle in it. And then step four, draw a black dot right in the middle. So this is just the basic things and I've just drawn it out in a a huge paper so what I've done here is just drawn like a donut thing on um, where the black dots supposed to go and then that triangle bit over there is supposed to be our light source where the light is shining okay so what I'm doing here is just shading with more details this donut shaped thing curving around the black eye there's a pupil yep. Okay, now to actually move on to the importance of the eye. So what I'm doing here is just outlining the top, the curve, the well, the pupil. And what we're going to be doing now is just well doing this type of shapes around the borders of the eye, the eyeball. Which is not too hard. See these. These jagged lines, and then you fill them up for like detail. And if you look at another person's eye and like zoom in, uh, the, these are the type of details that's gonna be on that eye. Okay, now there's just a ring around, like in the middle of the eye, and then now I'm just drawing these seeds type of shape. In that sheet, seed type of shapes, you just have to lightly shade over them, and then in one part of it, like here, you give one spot a darker part. Now in another C type shape, you just put another um, dark spot on a different place and just overlap that all around. What I'm doing here is that on some of the seats, I just draw a line going towards the center of the eye. The human eye has a lot of like, weird curves and lines and if you google up like human eye up close you'll know what I mean. So there's like a lot of lines and then stripes and then just waviness. So that's what I'm trying to do here. By the way I didn't look at any references. Now that the seeds and the donut shape fits up are all done, we shade the pupil. So what this does is just give it a little bit of realism and then fade it even more. And now I'm just doing the eyelashes which is the spot. The eyelashes are not supposed to be in like a neat row and I found this out the hard way. Because so if you look at the eyelash, the eyelashes of a human person, it's like quite mess, messy and messed up and stuff. So here is just curved lines. 
individual curved lines. Don't like just coloring because that's bad. See what, see what I did there? I colored it in. That's bad. The outcome of the entire eye when you like look at it, when you're done, it won't look that nice. <laughs> Voice card. For the eye to look realistic, you have to shade in uh, the outer parts of the pupil and that's what I'm doing here. I know it looks a little messy right now. What you can do to make it look more smoother than without the pencil, the pencil strokes, you can just use a blender and just blend it, like a blending tool, or you can just use a tissue paper if yours is broken. <coughs> yeah, that's what happened to me. Mine broke. As you can see here, you can just see me blending it out with a tissue paper. Yep, I, I blended it with that. Wait, wait for it. Wait, wait for it. Th there we go. I blended the drawing with tissue paper. Seriously, yep. I mean, this is what you can do. I'm not allowed to go outside and buy a new one. So, sad life. So this is how it's looking so far and here something bad happened. You know what happened? My camera ran out of battery. Yep. So these are the last few moments of when my camera had battery. Okay, so here's the end. What I did is just drew the eyebrows and then just touched up the drawing a little bit and that's all. You can do this at home. Only takes about 6 hours. We're just kidding. Like 2 hours or 1 hour of work. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's like 8 minutes long. So, bye.